Danny, thank you. New tonight, a warning for pet owners. A new deadly virus has been detected in southern Nevada, and experts say it can kill within hours. 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels is live near Rainbow and Lake Mead. And Joe, this virus is putting rabbits in danger. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, the warning comes after three local domestic rabbits have turned up dead and state authorities confirm it's from a virus that has already decimated the wild rabbit populations in Texas, New Mexico and Arizona. They're cute, fluffy and lovable, and some people have them as pets. Uh, she's two and a half. Uh, she's very, very kind. She loves to give people kisses. Blake Heller and his mom, Laura, love Snowflake, their white rabbit. But now there's concerns about rabbit hemorrhagic disease, also known as RHDV2, a potentially lethal and highly contagious virus. So far, three known cases have popped up in southern Nevada, and state authorities are watching for more. If they didn't feel well, stopped eating, had a fever, um, pretty much anything at this point would make me suspicious and make me isolate that rabbit because the ones that we have seen, those three cases that I mentioned, um, from the time they started showing symptoms, they were dead within hours. Dr. Sarah Blakesley is a vet at Southern Hills Animal Hospital. She says some rabbits show no outward symptoms and can die from sudden internal bleeding. The virus only affects rabbits, but other animals and people can spread the virus without even knowing. You can bring, track it on your shoes. so. If people were, you know, going out trying to get some exercise and doing a trail or something like that, and they don't take those shoes off, if they bring that in the house and they don't properly disinfect it or keep it separated, it, it can get into the household. Dr. Blakesley says the potent virus spreads through contact with infected rabbits, but also through contaminated carcasses, food, water, or other materials. And really do their due diligence and... Um, much like what we've all been doing during this pandemic, they need to disinfect their rabbit environments with bleach and water, wash the greens carefully, be really careful, even though humans won't be impacted by this virus, they can, the virus can be carried on their clothes and the bottom of their shoes. The Nevada SPCA has stopped all rabbit adoptions and won't be taking any rabbits in until further notice. And I think I want to take them in just to get tested and checked out now that this has come about too. It's just scary to know. I don't know if it happens all of a sudden or... Um, but, but it is scary. There is no cure for the virus, and state authorities are requesting rabbit deaths to be reported so investigators can track potential virus spread. And again, the virus cannot infect humans or other animals, just rabbits. Now, there is a vaccine, and some local vets are trying to get some, but it could be weeks before they get shipments of that vaccine. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.